This video is because Jen lies. I don't! You lie in a bed of lies. You just want to punctuate that with a... It's either that or a fart. Oh, please don't. Remember when we said no more pickup videos? No! I want to explain! Remember? remember? Do you remember? Do! I remember. Shut up! I want to say what we were going to do with Instagram and Twitter first. OnlyFans? <laughs> no. Our plan is to include you guys more and show you what we're playing because I played an impressive amount of games last year. Play a bunch of modern games that you can't lose. And they do it yeah. really fucking well. Yeah. But anyways, we were talking, we we're like, how can we involve the community a little bit more and show them what we're playing all the time? So the plan is take like maybe the corner picture of a game and give you very, very hard to guess clues. But whoever guesses it first, in the next video, we were wrong. What? We're gonna answer it in this video in about 30 seconds. I don't care because we are very open book people. The mm. question we thought about last night, I asked Scott if he could live in any gaming world, what would that be? <laughs> like fucking Spider-Man, I wanna be Spider-Man, that's like, awesome. I was like, lame. And she's like, I, I wanna see a real zombie. I wanna see a real zombie. I'm like, you crazy bitch, huh? I gotta go sleep on the couch. <laughs> But anyways, that's our plan. So, zombies, am I right? I'm just trying to find a way to segue into this because we did such a big jump cut that nobody's gonna understand why we're in different clothes. Anyways, this was kind of an afterthought. It was supposed to be in the next video. But anyways, Jay just asked us the question. Hey, Scott and Jen, mes amis canadiens. I am Jay from Square Pegs. Thank you guys so much for allowing me to ask this question. And I feel kind of bad because it was almost cheating. When I saw this game in particular being asked about on Twitter, I knew what it was immediately. This is a game I've played dozens and dozens of times. It's from my favorite game series of all time, so I kind of had a leg up on what the game was, but stoked for you to get to play this, Scott, because this is from my favorite series of all time, and I'm really curious to see what you think about it. But the deal was, if I answered correctly, I got to ask you a question. So here it is. As a gaming couple, what game do you use when you're introducing new gamers to the hobby? What game is your go-to to get them hooked? I would love to know what it is. Thank you guys, keep up the great work, and I will talk to you guys soon. Stay square. This is the one that we normally use. Yes. Now, we do that when people come into the game room, because we, we've actually gone through this already. Oh yeah. We've had friends come in, Rachel, mm -hmm. we've had, well, other friends. I mean, even me. Yeah. This feels like something that you, you, you have a hard time. You struggle with this still. It's a very familiar Mario game. Mario, yeah. Very familiar. It's basically the same mechanics with mm -hmm. a couple other ones there. If you played Mario 1 or 3, very similar. Yes. It's a cheaper game it's, on a cheaper system. Yes. It's multiplayer. You play up four people. Yeah. So Infinite you, continues. Infinite continues. You can't die out, but no. you can kill each other as much as you want. Yes, and it <laughs> makes for a really good time. Yes. As long as you're not somebody that sulks over being killed by friends. Hmm. But anyways, yes, that would be the game we would definitely recommend to a new gamer. We did it. We answered a question. No, stop. So, I didn't lie. I didn't lie. I I see a stool of lies over Did you there. get the thing over there? What, what are you talking about? What are you pointing at? I'm not going to say it out loud because oh. there's no point. So, we said we weren't going to pick up any more games. This was a really long intro. For I can explain three. everything. Lies. So now Jen says we can't go to Siege because she's picking up Fuck the... No, we're going to Siege. It's happening. You're going to do this one. My mom got me this for Christmas. I didn't spend money on this. Most of these didn't cost money. That's right. Tell Jen, start spending money. No, I I can explain everything. All right, I guess we'll have to thank Marcus for this one. <laughs> Marcus got me this cool shirt. Dennis got me this cool shirt, and I wore it Christmas Day. Because <laughs> that seemed appropriate. And to make up for getting the cool shirt, he got me this headache. No, he got me that <laughs> headache. Oh, me. why am I playing it? Why am I getting frustrated? This is the weird thing. I am not a retro gamer, and this she is very really, like hard game. retro she game. She loves this oh, game. Fuck, Me and Dennis are like just beating our heads against the wall. It takes three player players though to play a two player game because you once you one need person a break. once one person gets uh, mad enough, they pass it off and they drink. Tap out. Yeah, they tap out. All right, Jen, explain this one. 
hear me out. This game, Travis was so nice. This is at uh, Nerful Thing. He gave me this game. He didn't give you this game. No, no, he didn't give me this game, but he gave it to me for no tax. So it was $49.99. I got a Walmart gift card for Christmas for $50. Does he take Walmart gift cards? No, but I'm going to go to Walmart and use it for groceries. So I'll buy one loaf of stale bread, laundry detergent, strawberries that are going to go bad this tomorrow, and 17 like bags of chips. And that'll be worth it. It sounds like the Home Alone grocery list. There. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to steal a toothbrush. All right. We're going to get into um, stuff that came in the mail that we had paid for like yeah, so ever that ago, count. like six months ago or yeah. whatever. Astalon, Tears of the Earth. Haven't, it's still sealed, haven't played yeah. yet, but I've seen game footage of it. Oh, I'm going to love that. Okinawa Rush. I could have on the said Switch. that. What? Okinawa. Okay. But it was <laughs> 30 bucks. Um, that's, I want I want to support our local pawn that's shop there. That's been the worst part of it with not doing any pickups is not supporting local and I feel like that's really really important. River City Girls Zero. Haven't touched it yet. Still sealed. And we're here it's a little bit broken. This one? Is it that one? I don't know. Oh. I don't want any of them to be broken. All right, Jen, explain this way. Look at this. Okay, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Okay, number one, I'm pretty sure Brandon would like this from Unnecessary uh, Rambling because this is Annapurna, Annapurna Collection. And this was not cheap, but we had a stack of DS games and consoles. Guilty, guilty party. <laughs> The guilty one. Why? What am I guilty of? Yeah, why are you so guilty? Why? What's in the box? What's in the <laughs> box? What's in the box? Okay, I may or may not. Hey, you told me about it though. That's your fault. Uh, there, I blame social media. There, I do too. I blame everything on social media. There may be a no, collection no of games at Parlor that I had to have. It's not cheap. So I'm trying trying real hard not to break my promise to not buy any games. So I'm hoping these three DSIs and DS games and some other games, was this, were you getting rid of this too? Yeah, I guess so. Well, it's in there. Yeah, yeah put it in. Okay, anyways, so we're getting rid of some games so I can buy a $200 collection. It's more than 200. 225, I was rounding down. Now, had they taken the other console, it was parental locked. We gave it to tech support, Alex. Alex. He fixed it. He took the parental lock off. It. This should have only cost me $15. It ended but up it costing me 60 But that's one, that's two, three, four, all five, six, seven, eight games. That's yeah. a really good deal. Is, uh, so don't focus on what oh, Scott is saying really right now. The takeaway it's here so is that was a really good deal. So, it's a good collection of games. Is it all limited run stuff or what? What is this? Annapurna collection. Okay. I just said that. Some of them are one to two player. Really? Yeah. It says one to two players. I bought memories, guys. I bought memories to make with, with my friends and my husband. This was a gift from Dennis. It along was. with a stack of DVDs and some GoBots and all that stuff. And I'm not bringing that out. Jane can take pictures. I'll take pictures. There. Okay, the these are not all maximum. from Dennis, maximum. but we're gonna highlight the movie buying problem we have since Scott seems to be throwing me under the bus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Explain game here again. Damn it. It was just a really good price and people kept telling me I had to play it. I blame you two. I blame you guys. I love you, but I blame you. But it was twenty four ninety five, and it was a literally came out like so, a week or two before that. 60 on that. Another 25 on that. But I got gift cards. <laughs> I don't think they take those at the parlor. No, but shut up. <laughs> I just really want to play chant and you're not my mom. And this is why I shouldn't go to the pawn shops. There's going to be some day one yes. purchases. Yes, there has to be. It'll be a video coming up. <laughs> I think we're going to do that, right? We're going to do, do, yeah. Yeah, I think we'll do a combination of goals for the year and games we're going to probably, yeah. we're hyped for. Probably just call it like, shut game. the fuck up and take my money. <laughs> this one here, I think I got you to pre-order it before we officially said we weren't buying games. I'm pretty sure. Ease 8 on the uh, P4 
PS5. Yes, yes, ease eight, very, very nice. I had to go track this down. So here's the information I found. We ordered this game October 26th. So when did we put out that video? Better yet, when did we record that video? Well, pains me to say, we put out the video November 2nd and we recorded it October 30th. Great. My husband was right. Hey guys, back again, asking a second question. Forgot to segue into this one, so now I'm doing it on my phone. But this question comes from Jason or Gingerbeard the Gaming Dad. Gingerbeard the Gaming Dad here. My question to you both is, how long have you been seriously collecting and do you ever experience burnout and just feel like you don't really want to be out there for the hunt? But if you don't go out there, you feel like you're going to miss out on something. Um, and then my other question is, do you guys plan on uh, attending any cons or any expos anytime uh, soon? Thanks again, Gingerbeard the Gaming Dad, and I'm out of here. How long have I been collecting or have we been collecting? Because that's two different numbers. Yeah. I have been collecting for... Uh, Ever? Well... Oh no. I, I collect... Here we go. I've collected... My husband doesn't know how to answer a question uh, quickly. And, and I may have to rein this in. Uh, video games has Don't been Don't make this the longest answer ever because it's an mm. A, B, and a question too. Video games I've been collecting for probably what, six, seven years? Yeah, probably. And I've Seriously. been more in the three year range. Yeah. That's when we really got big. <laughs> Somebody was just spending money. Oh yeah. yeah. So part B to that question is, do we ever experience burnout collecting? Yes, in the Canadian winters, when you don't want to leave your house and it is cold and the sun goes down at 4.30, I'm like, fuck going anywhere, we don't wanna go. Yeah. But do we feel like we miss out? Not really, because Parlor puts out daily deals. Luckily, our, our local pawn shops do have a lot of social media. Yeah. So anything new that comes in, especially video games, stuff like that that flies off the shelf, they do daily deals, mm -hmm. you know, stuff like that, and we're constantly checking. We're always checking yeah. it. And uh, the second question, are we going to any cons or anything in the coming? If Jen whatever? doesn't stop buying video games, we're not going to be able we're to We're going. We're going to Siege. It's happening. We're going to Siege in 2023. It's happening. Do I have a choice? Nope. You're going. All right. So the rest of it is just gifts. Yay! So. Whew, I can calm down now. I don't have to take any more heat. All right. Let's just bring it all in one shot mm -hmm. because it's kind of one big story it involved is. here. Yes. Bam, bam! You know, Cooney Remastered. Bam Bam! Bravely Default 2. That's for Mom. The Sega Genesis Mini Part 2. My mom asked me, what do I get Scott for Christmas? I said, well, he wants Bravely Default 2, so Bravely Default 2. I waited forever yeah. for this thing to come down she got under it. 60 bucks. I guess she got it me off. on sale, not a great probably sale. 54. Yeah, probably something like that. It was on sale at Amazon on Amazon there right before Black Friday sale. Right? Yes. Or one. So anyways, Mondain sent us this because I had to call in There's, a favor. We can't get this in Canada. What the couldn't get we couldn't get the uh, Turbo Graphics Mini, and now and we couldn't get the Sega Genesis. Canadians Mini like games too. So my mom Got this for Scott for Christmas, but Mondain did all the legwork to get it to us here. And of course, because he's the most generous guy we've ever met, he sent these two. We're appreciative gift receivers. Stop giving me stuff. But we're, <laughs> we have a hard time receiving things because we like to give. Super appreciative. We do have a video of this um, that we'll add in here. Uh, let me just say, I was very sick with a cold at the time. So if I look like hot shit, that's why. Mini. Awesome. How'd you find that? I had to call in a favor. Favor? A favor that came with extra favors. Can you bring it over? The thing you oh, put. Yes. Yeah, what are you doing there, please? Favor. What kind of favors do you Mondan helped us out. Oh, yeah. He ordered it, sent it to us. It got here the 23rd. It got here yesterday. I was shitting bricks. He was shitting bricks. We were shitting all the bricks. So, Scott, we're seeing it for the first time, too. Yeah. Yeah. Cause folks sent me a message. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, well, yeah. it's wrapped and we didn't know. Yeah. What could be super? <coughs> oh, cool. You know, cool. Oh, nice. PS4. Oh, nice. Rest of the thing. Rest of the bird. 
That makes sense because he really loves Ratchet and Clank and I think I'll really enjoy it. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Thanks, buddy. Cheers. Cheers. And a boy. See, that didn't take very long. I need a timer put on because it's going to take forever. <laughs> oh, fuck's sakes. It's on me now. All right, guys. Uh, that's it. That's our pickups. We won't have any more pickups for like till next. Are we still doing no fun February? That's been a whole fucking no fun fucking six months here. Like, yeah. Easy. Oh, <laughs> shut the fuck up. You've been buying movies. He replaces a hobby oh, with another I hobby. Fucking $2 movie DVD here and there. Shut up. All right, on that note, until next time, game on. Uh, do you want to chug that? No, it's <laughs> very tart. Okay. Do you want to chug it? No, I didn't offer to begin with.